Now to the Seminole County Circuit Court in Sanford, Florida. It's 6.30 p.m., and a long one-day trial has come to an end. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of driving under the influence. That defendant is 46-year-old Lisette Gonzalez. Although a verdict for Gonzalez's DUI charge has already been reached, her attorney makes a final plea to Judge Fred Schott. Your Honor, there's not enough evidence presented for the jury to find the verdict that they did. They didn't do all the, the, the field sobriety examinations that should have been done. During the trial, it was revealed that Gonzalez was never given a breathalyzer or had her blood drawn. Yet, arresting officer Michael Wagner recorded that she tested above the legal limit of .08 in his official report. Wagner claimed it was an honest mistake, but observed what he believed to be intoxication. I respectfully ask that this court grant the judgment notwithstanding the verdict. The attorney is asking the judge to use his power to overturn the jury's verdict and acquit the defendant. It's a move rarely seen in the courtroom. All right. This isn't a purely circumstantial case. And so I'm going to deny the motion for JOA. It looks like the case is closed, but Judge Schott has other business with Gonzalez. Now, we have this other case for driving a license suspended. Two months after her DUI arrest, Gonzalez was ticketed for driving with a suspended license. Problem is, the only reason her license was suspended was because of the inaccurate paperwork filed by Officer Wagner. I want to be enlightened. It was a mistake, admittedly, by Michael Wagner. I know. Testified to that today. He caused her to have her driver's license suspended for, for at least a few months for nothing. So are you going to null process that case, or am I going to get mad at you today? The judge is addressing prosecutor Diana Mears. Perhaps you can get mad at me, Your Honor, but at this point... Why wouldn't you... Um, wait a minute. Do you hear the uncontroverted testimony of this officer? Your Honor... Then I want you taking him up on perjury. Your Honor. Will you take him up for he perjury? Did, he admitted it was a mistake, Your Honor. No, but he lied. He lied on a sworn Absolutely citation. Absolutely not, Your Honor, and that is, that is not true. I'm dismissing. I'm dismissing. I am, I, I am dismissing. I am dismissing this charge. No, I'm dismissing the charge. The judge has just dismissed the defendant's upcoming case, but he's not done yet. This whole case was fishy, and I have no idea how they... You know what? on file. You know what? I'm granting... I am... I'm, I'm, I'm rescinding the sentence. I'm granting the JOA. Judge Schott has just reversed his decision and acquitted the defendant on the spot. So you're granting it because you don't agree with the state's decision on the I'm granting the JOA in fairness. In fairness, because you, you don't it. like the state's decision today, Your Honor, on the case? No, you're, you're not. Are now that I consider what Officer Wagner testified to and how many times he basically tripped over himself just to arrest this lady with no real probable cause, you're done. Motion JOA is granted. And you're not going to provide a written order on that? Nope. Do you want to appeal me? Appeal me. Thank you, Your Honor. The case should have never been done. Never. Thank you for letting us know that, Your Honor. The defendant, Lisette Gonzalez, walks out of the courtroom, free of all charges. Thanks for being a fan of CourtCam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.